SK is so taking a look at team efficiency starting up north with the exact same uh, lineup as uh, last set. Pretty yep, much. So, both teams actually going yep. with the same exact tank setup. So well, no this time advantage. around, like yeah, City Ducks traded uh, their extra 5100 for uh, for T69. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So both teams, yeah, will have the identical tank setup from. Uh, both sides, and look at this, an early Western push that might come out from the Silly Ducks. And I, 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 I really like that because lately we've seen at least uh, a quite a, a, some successful pushes uh, up that Western Well, you side. know, just today we saw the Night Eagles yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and obviously PvP Super Friends coming up with the same tactic. It paid off for PvP, it didn't for the Night Eagles. Now what? I really do like about uh, the Silly Duck move right now is that they're still sending one tank up the hill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A at least, at the very least. So that's going to just uh, give them a sense of security. And they're sending Lord Ketchup first to the west as well, just to make sure there's no enemy scout before they uh, progress uh, further on north. Now, I'd love to get a, a peek at uh, what the efficiency tanks are doing, because so far Observer is not following them either. Yeah, but I really like the movement coming out from those T1s. I mean, when that T1 on the hill area makes it up there, and if he manages to spot out you know, an enemy on uh, Efficiency's side, then Efficiency might be able, or might be like, uh, kind of tricked into thinking that there are heavier forces behind that T1. Oh, they've been spotted oh, straight up. They've, yeah, been spot they've been straight spotted straight up by the T1. So uh, yeah, the entire push has been compromised. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. They're still gonna go in. They're they're still gonna go in for it. Look at that. Bane taking a little bit of damage right there. Big the Budo taking first blood, taking out Sly Fox right there. And they are gonna continue to push right now. Silly Ducks moving in into yeah, efficiency territory. Okay, last time we saw a push like this being noted on early, that was the Night Eagles against Insidious Gaming, and Insidious Gaming like punished them. And look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at the look at the efficiency response right now. They're already taking position, defensive position, and that's why like City Ducks quite wisely on the observer, as I can see. Uh, are deciding to retreat. Yeah, uh, usually if that push is spotted early on, the defending team has have all plenty the time of time world. and is extremely easy to defend that position right uh, over there. And and wisely enough, since they were spotted, the Silly Ducks are going to back out from that. Yeah, actually, uh, from when the Night Eagles played, they were spotted early on, and that's why they lost. But they, when PvP they kept on insisting. Yeah, sure. but actually, uh, was it Anubis that actually did that, or was it PvP? No, 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 it was PvP yeah, yeah, one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the PvP, only set that actually won against yeah, Anubis. Yeah, yeah, PvP, oh. they weren't spotted. They, they caught Anubis Empire by surprise, and uh, due to that, they actually took that set home. So it really, that, and rather that, easily too. Yeah, that that push really comes down to uh, sneakiness. Exactly. Like, yeah. can you keep your stealth or not? If you are yeah, detected, yeah, yeah. Uh, forget it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much forget it. Well, although the Night Eagles almost pulled it off, though. Uh, but the still, uh, the, the the fact remains that when they were trying to capture the base, they took so much damage. Yeah. And yeah they yeah. could not recover from it ultimately. So uh, I think it's a very wise choice from Silly Ducks Revolution to back out from that. Uh, so they came back to a very defensive setup onto their own base, and now. Uh, uh, well, pretty much both teams have, uh, as a matter of fact. Both teams uh, uh, have uh, uh, pretty much uh, retreated to their starting position. Obviously, efficiency, look at that setup. That's like the perfect defense uh, uh, of the northern base right now that you're seeing on your screen. Uh, well, unfortunately for them, City Ducks uh, will not be silly enough uh, to uh, actually commit to this push. They've actually switched to the eastern front right now. Yeah, they have, they have committed a T69 plus two other heavy tanks towards the base of the hill, like kind of hugging the, the side of the hill right there. And the members of Efficiency actually back up just a little bit so they do lose vision on that right Exactly. There. You know what? If I were either Efficiency or Silly Dogs, I'd send my TCC Knight up the hill. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. To take position. Because right I now I both teams too. have been a little scared uh, on both sides, especially uh, due to the uh, Silly Dogs push. So I see them actually just camping for a wee bit. So that's the perfect opportune moment to send those T69s up there. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yep, exactly. Even one T69 could really change the course of this battle right now because he he would like be on a on 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 pretty much sniper heaven up there. Yep, exactly. So both teams not just yet going for the hilltop. It could prove to be like uh, uh like not beneficial for either of them. You know, just to just to stay here. Like definitely more map control will pr uh, be more useful to you in the long run. And yeah, both teams really kind of oh, but look at that some damage going on to comics right there. Nice shot by Obelisk. Uh, but I have a feeling this is how the next couple minutes are going to go. Both teams are going to kind of hug this central field area and then and then try and get each other from these windows oh, and from and these Oh, and Giju is taking some damage too here as well. So uh, yeah, the Silly Dogs member is doing a much better job at the cracking shots at their opponents. Look at that, Giju is so low yeah. uh, right now. He's down to 40%. He's got to watch out. Uh, and Oh, comics oh, taking so and comics, much damage uh, Yeah, well. taking a lot of punishment as well. And lower catch-up is probably going to go down right here. 
Yeah, so honestly, it doesn't look too good for Team Efficiency right now, just due to the fact that they lost so much health on, I believe it was two of their tanks, uh, Comics, and I think was it Dejuice that also took yeah. some damage. Yeah, yeah, Dejuice did take some yeah. damage, but Comics is really, really low as well. Lord Ketcher being hunted. Look at that Pred error as well, like to uh, the uh, Western Front. They're actually really coming down strong here. Okay, Lord Ketchup is out. Uh, so that's gonna cancel the vision to uh, the West Railroad. Look at that, Dejuice is down to 570. But a push and look at that, Aura Armina well. is just like, yeah, it's coming down to finish him off. And look at that, Dejuice and Comics are so low right now. And Big the Budo is just coming from behind. Oh, so, they're oh, in trouble. That, they're, go they're down. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely gonna Both go down. Gonna and go this down. is gonna be totally deserved for the Silly Dogs. Two tanks down. Yes, they're probably gonna take this oh, set. Wow. That's two MX50s down. Although Big the Budo is taking some punishment from behind, but it's not gonna change that much. Yeah, it's not near enough losing two amx 50s is huge especially just the tier points as well but look at that yeah silly ducks doing some nice damage onto the other members of team efficiency and yeah i, I definitely gotta say uh silly ducks will most likely win this set yeah so look at this they are slowly taking more and more control of this map but actually obelisk here he is really deep oh and, oh, he, gets and he gets taken, taken out. down he gets taken down so now it's a four on three uh, these I really oh. have to say that. Oh, look at that. It's a two on one right now. Tanaka and Fred Air against yeah, Vayne. Vayne's probably going to go down out. too. Vayne's probably going to go down and he's got the ice tree, so that's not good news. Yeah, oh, oh he gets boy, taken he out. does oh get my taken God. down. They're actually turning this around, so they have the advantage right now. Oh, it's Modi and Aramne coming in. Exactly, and uh, we're, they're facing two MX 50s, so not the sturdiest of tanks. Like, oh, oh no, that on the ladder. That on the ladder did so much damage, and look at that. It's just like, yeah, um, pretty much 12 shots that are unleashed, unleashed uh, consecutively. But now both these tanks are reloading, actually. So Tanaka will be able to yeah, charge both in. Yeah, them are reloading. Exactly. Tanaka is on the chase now. He has look to go at in that. right oh, now. Oh, right and Botek right behind as well. Oh, Botek oh, does. Boy. Oh, he gets, oh yeah, Komodi gets taken out. Oh, uh, this is it. Oh, folks. my God. This efficiency it. turned it around. I don't believe it. After losing those two aiming sympathies early on, I did not expect him to turn this around. Efficiency. But, but